I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Well Pergus Knight. A review copy, or more of a hey, maybe you would like this copy, was provided by the developer. I happen to know him on Twitter. Uh, let's go to the. Oh, wait, no, let's go to the. Yeah, I guess the options has the credits. Uh, art design code by Alexander Taylor, title of the screen by Blah to Do, lots of stuff. Um. Yeah, I was just commenting on how I got a game and it had a really cute app icon. He's like, hey, my game has a cute app icon too, maybe you'll like it. Uh, so this is a cheap little bullet hell dodge em up. Dodging only too. Basically we're just gonna float around here. I'm sorry you have to see my mouse, that's just a side effect of how I record things for now. I wonder if I can hide, well, I guess it's hopefully not too big of a deal. It's, you're just seeing what I see. Um, yeah, it's a bullet hell dodge em up. It's pretty nice music. It's available in Japanese language too. With some Japanese voice acting. Pretty cute voice. Um, so it's it's got the basic mobile game progress system. of It's got stars, three on each level. And you unlock more stuff with stars. Touch controls actually work quite well for bullet hell games, I was really surprised. At least, it depends how much you need to shoot or use other buttons, but for dodging only, it actually works perfectly fine. Uh, this is, I'm obviously using a mouse, and this also works perfectly fine. Um, I'm running this in blue stacks, like you might have heard from the last Android game that I played. Aw, oh, frick. Well, I already have all stars in this level, so it doesn't really matter that I failed there. So your score is entirely based on how long you survive, plus um, you want to collect the spent fireworks in you know in a chain. So I'll just play each level that I have unlocked once, basically. Let's just see how things go. You eventually get five seconds for each spent firework you get. It's not too hard to get them in this mode, they also clear bullets. It's like a mini mom. It gets pretty frantic later on. These are this is pretty stuff, easy stuff. I kind of like that. It's probably more for the casual crowd that the things are named the way they are. But it starts off named Tricky. It's really not that hard compared to most bullet hell stuff. But uh, it does get there. You don't don't go thinking this is easy. Well, I mean, these levels aren't too hard. But uh, ah. I'm also not sure. We'll, we'll go a little longer than that. The voice is very cute. Oop. I'm not entirely sure how- the patterns do progress as things go on. I'm not entirely sure if it's like completely random beyond a certain point or if there's like scripted patterns that loop in. I'm not sure how- like uh, I'm not- I don't tend to play any sort of procedural or infinite uh, bullet hell stuff. It's usually very tightly programmed but uh it doesn't have that feel of random garbage killing you. It, it feels pretty well designed, at least up until at least three stars. There's probably a point, you know, oh crap. Well, we'll just continue on. There's probably a point where you get beyond where even, you know, the developer was actually able to survive and the patterns might be, you know, pretty crazy beyond that, I don't know. What I have played of it has been pretty reasonable. Not easy, but reasonable. And there, it's a nice short romp for um, you know. Play this while waiting for the bus. Ow! You know that the whole mobile game short thing. I'll try not to be too negative here on the mobile game experience. I I am not a mobile gamer. I um. I do- I've played a few bullet hell games on my phone. I have played very little this year. I, for a brief period, I was super into the mobile stuff. I got an iPad too, and there was this whole new world of gaming, and then I realized I was playing about 10 copies of the exact same tap a bunch of things to get your coins, and then you wait until the next day, and then you tap a bunch of more things. You know, I was basically playing like 10 Farmvilles, and it's like, oh. This is dumb. You know, there's some- oh, crap. Some generally good games in that vein. I gotta get more than one star. Like, um, Tiny Tower was probably one of my favorites in that. 
I played Tiny Tower, Dragon Veil. I, I like Dragon Veil, but I started, as I kept playing, I started to notice how exploitative a lot of stuff was. Like, the. I got the Leap Year Dragon, and that kind of rubbed me way the wrong way. Because, I mean, if you miss the Leap Year Dragon and you really want to get all the dragons, you gotta wait four years. I mean, I guess we're at another Leap Year now, so, I mean, that's just a matter of luck when you start the game. And it's. I'm sure there's, like, a ton of insane dragons that are basically impossible to get now. And I realized all of my gameplay was basically just me tapping on buildings and waiting until the buildings fill up of whatever unit that they fill up. And you press it again, it's like, nah. So, generally, bullet hell games and some, some puzzle games are about all I'll play. I actually never finished, um... What's it called? Uh, Monument Valley. I got the Am Amazon Android Store version of that, and the Amazon App Store is just such awful garbage, and it lost my save data. And, uh, woo! I finally did get it. It was on sale for, like, a dollar, so I just bought it for real. And, uh, I haven't finished it since yet, though. Oh, hey! I, w I wasn't even... I was just in the zone. That's that's something I really enjoy about bullet hell stuff. You, you just get in this zone, and unlike rhythm games, I can actually talk while I'm in that zone. It's a little distracting, but uh, Let's go. I can actually, you know... Like, if I play a rhythm game, the last mobile game that I played was actually for recording was actually a rhythm game. Um, it's, it's a lot harder to talk over those. It's not even that rhythm games are necessarily harder, it's just it's a different experience. And you can't- if you talk, you're gonna lose your rhythm real fast. I found that with Patapon. If I even, like, bellowed out, like, a single sentence to reply to somebody, boom, I have dropped the beat in Patapon. And I'm good at Patapon. I'm not good at most rhythm games. If you- if you didn't catch the last mobile game video, d don't- don't expect more mobile game videos. This has been a complete nightmare to record. It's not the game's fault. Um, it's very much Bluestack's fault, and to a lesser extent, Nox at player's fault. Uh, it was just way too much effort, and I'd record this in a different way than I usually play my games, and... Blah. So we, we have unlocked Ultra, but we don't have Final. I want to see Final now. If you do play this on blue stacks, it uh, it works fine. I honestly, this is one that doesn't really play any worse on computer than it does on the phone. Uh, Rudy McCall definitely I preferred on my phone, but I mean it's functional. You can use buttons at least, which for that game is fine. But the the frame rate and stuff in blue stacks ain't so great. As you can see, getting pretty standard bullet heli. Lots of some more complex patterns going on. Nope. Yeah, was not supposed to be there. I love the simple parallax clouds there. The, the game's graphics are very simple, but they they work pretty well. And with bullet hell games, you kind of just want a really nice stark contrast. Some of the bullet hell games I played on my phone are Endborn X. Um, some of Cave's games. I played Bug Panic, I think? Not Bug Princess, but there was a mobile twin stick one that plays very different from any other cave game. It's a it's a stage-based game, and actually very fun. I, I would prefer to play it with real controllers, but I'm not sure if that would work because like the dragging. I, I actually can't play that game anymore because I gave my parents my laptop because they paid for uh I wasn't really using it anymore. And they paid Parker's vet bill when he was sick once, so I just, I just let them have it. But uh, I would like to see that game on something not, or at least on Android. I'm not sure if Cave does stuff for Android. Too many com companies still neglect Android, so I'm not gonna get, a, get an iOS thing just for games. No oh, man. Um, <sighs> oof, that was really close. Um, maybe we're gonna get an extra star. Ah, oh, no we're not. Oh, come on. Oh, oh well. I think that is all of our levels here. Yeah. 
Oh, you gotta get all of the stars to unlock final, huh? I guess that makes sense. Wait. Oh yeah, all of them. Alright. Hmm. Well, that's a good enough showing. That's, uh... That's pretty much the point of this. This is Walpurgis Night. It's about... Three bucks? On the Android store? And iOS, I'm sure. There'll be there'll be links to that in the description, you know, the App Store crap. I uh, don't think it's on anything but mobile, but uh, that's what it's designed for. Um, yeah, It's kind of funny. Uh, I mean, and by funny, I mean depressing. But sometimes when people see vertical shooters now, they say, Oh, this looks like a phone game. It's like vertical shooters have been using, you know, super narrow aspect ratios for like 30 years anyway v vertical aspect ratio is not a reason to not buy a game it is not is not a mobile thing it's it's just how vertical shooters are designed and when all of your gameplay play is in this lane it really doesn't help to have a bunch of garbage over here and here but uh, I don't know, people always complain i'm just i'm just disappointed with why people complain about you know, people complain about dumb stuff. It's disappointing. Anyway, this is Walpurgis Night. It's pretty cute. And did, don't don't expect don't expect mobile games on this channel again. Um, I enjoyed the game, but re recording these was a huge pain in the butt, and the the emulator stuff. And I can't output my phone directly, and I don't want to record directly on my phone because its microphone is garbage. But fortunately. I don't really sh play too many games to show off anyway. It's not like the 3DS, where, you know, there's a bunch of really cool games on 3DS I would like to show off, but I can't because the capture card's so expensive. Um, yeah. Oh, I wanted to say one thing. Wait, no, I didn't. I just wanted to say, th th about the only other thing I play is, like, emulators and... Um, I've been playing the Pokemon trading card game too, the translated version. That's a fan translation, and Monument Valley, which I mean, everybody knows Monument Valley. You don't need you don't need me to show you that. Yeah, this is Walpurgis Night. I hope you liked it.